In this part of EZFM tutorial, we are going to take a look at new functionality of 1.6, namely the fact that uh, it is now a blueprintable component. What that means is that uh, you can create a new blueprint class based on EZFM instead uh, of using the component as it is. Just pick parent class just click EasyFM and you have a new component that you can use in your actors. I have already prepared one here. So as you can see it looks uh, just like an actor blueprint except uh, you don't uh, have any additional components. However, what you can do is change parameters and this will then become default and if you try to add this new component into an actor, let's say this one, it will be added just like uh, any other component. So I call it my EFM, here it goes. And as you can see here, it will now have uh, defaults from this uh, new class of course you can still change them this is useful if you have like multiple types of aircraft however things like global world settings uh, and so on would be same for all of them however that's not the main advantage of this new approach uh, the main advantage is that now the component itself uh, can have uh, actual blueprint so if you have uh, some function that's again common for all actors using EZFM you can just you can just add it here like this and another thing that it allows and that's the biggest change is that uh, you can use it to override functions of EZFM itself. Namely, uh, it provided overrides for uh, getting custom wind, spin of sound, and air density. These mm, overrides can be used to create a custom sort of weather system. Weather system has been a uh, sort of weak spot of EZFM up until now. You only had just uh, one fixed uh, uh, sea level air density and fixed wind speed and curves that control how air density and speed of sound change with altitude. Of course, if these are enough for your game, uh, they work same as before, you can still use them. But what uh, we are going to do in this tutorial, we are going to create uh, a weather that changes with location. So I'm going to start by creating a new blueprint class. It's going to be an actor and this will be our custom volume in which the weather will be changing. So let's say, let's call it wind volume well, let's open it as a full blueprint and let's add a let's say a sphere collision this will be our volume like this and now we can place it somewhere on the map Let's say here, and I'm going to make the volume bigger. Let's say 1000 units. Okay, so inside this volume, the wind will change. And just to make it look fancy and stuff, we are going to add a particle system to it. So we see where it is. I have already prepared one uh, called Storm Particles. Looks like this. 
And now let's open our bin volume again. And let's add a variable to it. So let's call it just win. Like this. And it will be of type vector. This will, of course, represent went inside this volume. Okay, let's compile it so we can add default to it. And let's say it will be 500,000 units per second. Okay. Now, let's go to my EFM. And we are going to override get wind function. It will open this one. And as you can see, you get uh, a input vector. And this uh, inputs the location at which the object is. And it has a uh, return a node that will return the new value of wind. So let's use this uh, location to get uh, all overlapping actors of of the airplane and we are going to use uh, sphere overlap and object types uh, will be set to world dynamic because by default when you create a collision volume it's of uh, world dynamic type as you can see here however if uh, you're already using uh, world dynamic for something else you can of course always create a new object type and in actor class filter we are going to select our newly created uh, wind volume and let's give it some radius let's say minutes. anyway so now it will return uh, all uh, all actors of this type uh, that will that overlap sphere of this radius at this location in other words what this will do is it will tell you which volumes our plane will be flying through at the moment now i'm going to create a new local variable and it will be vector again and let's call it total wind it's gonna default to zero I'll put it here and for each actor we are going to cast it into into wind volume so we can get its its uh, wind variable as we created it before like this and let's connect all the execution pins and we are going to add this uh, this variable to our total wind vector plus vector and a new total wind will be set as some of those two like this now uh, this will be executed for each actor inside this array and after it goes through all of those it will simply return and of course its return value will be our new total wind like this well, let's see what it does
and let's see what happens when we fly inside this scary looking cloud. Oh! And that's the basics. Uh, you can of course get more creative. You can, for example, uh, use, say, Evan Begin Play and settle into something random. Random direction. this let's say 500 units again and we can change this let's say in half a second like this or any other pattern you want really the only limit is your creativity and uh, that's it for this part once again uh, let me know in the comments if there's something you didn't understand or you found a bug or anything else really